It has never been easier to create AI super agents than right now with the new NADN update. So this past week, NADN rolled out an update that now allows us to use AI agents as tools inside the same canvas. Now, what does that mean? That means we can have an orchestrator agent like you see here, and as a tool, we can have the AI agent itself. And that tool could also have AI agents underneath it. So what this gave us is a really simple and easy way to now make AI agents that have sub agents that can talk to one another all while maintaining visual clarity. Now, this is really useful if you're trying to do any sort of multi-agent setup. And what you see right here is somewhat of a skeleton of that model. Up top, you would have some sort of orchestrator AI agent, right? This would be the AI agent that you actually speak to. And underneath it, you would have agents that have different tasks. As you see here, it's pretty much broken up like an org chart. We have an executive assistant agent, our content agent, our research agent, and underneath each of those agents, we then have the sub agents that are actually doing all the work, right? The executive assistant agent would have an email sub agent, a calendar agent, the content agent would be able to do LinkedIn posts, short form, and then the research agent can look at stuff like internal searches via like Google Drive or full rag system, or actually go out and go search the internet for whatever you want. And that type of hierarchical setup is now really, really easy to do with this new NA10 update, right? So the big takeaway here is that we can now create multi-agent setups, hierarchical AI agent setups extremely easily. And so let's move away from a skeleton like you see here and look at an actual example of how you could be using this. So what we see right here is the same kind of setup, but in a personal assistant type format, right? Up top, we have our ability to talk with the AI agent. So this would be through Telegram, right? You can either do it through text or through voice. And underneath it are all the different tools that it can use. Right, so right here, we essentially have this personal assistant that has the ability to use email, use calendars, use web scraping tools, research, or do LinkedIn content. And kind of like we saw with the skeleton before, you'll see down here, we have this sub agent using that new tool that has attached to it a number of different Gmail options, right? So we essentially attached an entire Gmail agent to our primary orchestrator agent up top that we actually speak to. In reality, when you're using this, you as the user only interact with this guy, right? The primary agent up top. And this guy then makes the correct decisions based on what you tell it to do to then call on the appropriate sub agents underneath it, right? Again, imagine it's an org chart, right? And you just talk to the CEO, which then tells his VPs what he wants to do, who then tells the actual associates to go ahead and start doing some actual work, right? And it's really, really easy to do now with this new update. Now, how do you actually do it in practice? Well, it's actually really easy. You're just gonna go to the tool button up here. You're gonna click that, you're gonna search for agent, and you're gonna see the AI agent tool populate over here on the right. And now what we have is what should be a pretty familiar module set up to you, right? If you've ever been using AI agents before inside of NADN, this is gonna look very familiar, right? You have your description, you have your prompt, and then you have the ability to add things like system messages. But what's really nice now is we can have AI decide all these things, right? I can have my top line AI agent send the appropriate prompt and also create the appropriate system message for this sub agent. And why is that useful? Well, first of all, it makes it really easy to create these setups like I've talked about before, but now you can also set it up really, really, really quickly, right? I can pretty much recreate, oops, I can pretty much recreate the skeleton you see here, assuming all my accounts are set up and connected, right? And what? five, 10 minutes, where before it was somewhat laborious, right? If you remember, this is what sort of a personal AI assistant would look like just a few weeks ago. This AI agent you see here and this AI agent you see here are essentially one and the same in terms of functionality, but we didn't have the ability to have those, you know, built-in AI agent, AI sub-agent tools. We had to use these, right? Back in the old days, we had to do when called by another NADN workflow. And so if I wanted an email tool like this guy, I would have to create this entire agent in a separate workflow and call it separately, right? Remember, so this email tool is actually basically identical to this, but it's living in a different canvas and it's a different setup, right? I have to choose it from a workflow. I have to go inside that separate workflow. I have to painstakingly do the trigger. I have to make sure it's all set up. I have to manually do the system message. Now we can do that all automatically. So that's what this new AI tool agent really gives us.
Okay, so the new NADN update gives us what? It gives us visual clarity. It's super easy to see how my multi-agent setups now work. It gives us speed. I can very quickly build these things as I need to. And it makes it a little more streamlined, right? I can go inside here to these different tools and go to system messages and have the AI figure it out for itself, right? Very, very easy. But what do we lose, right? Because there's a pro and con to each of these setups. What I get here is a little different than what I get here. And I do lose some things when I move away from this setup, right? Like I mentioned before, let's talk about this guy, right? Same thing. This is a personal AI assistant that has the ability to use Gmail tools. If I go to this email tool and I navigate to it, you can see it right here, right? It has create email, Google contacts, create draft, get emails, right? All this stuff. Again, very similar to this guy, but now he's just in his own workflow. But there is some pros to having it set up this way, right? Doing the old method of having different workflows somewhat siloed, it gives us the advantage of having them be modular, right? Because while this email sub agent, right, with these little tools is just kind of sitting by itself, it means that I can attach it to any sort of workflow I want, right? So while it's attached to this AI assistant right now, I could basically copy this, right, and go to a different um, workflow and hook it up. And it's going to work just as well. And I could go to another one and another one and another one, right? So I can have all these essentially siloed sub agents that can work with anything I want, right? They're modular. I can plug and play them. With this new setup that you see here, right, where we have these tool agents that are like directly attached to it, I don't have that ability, right? I don't have the ability to, for example, call this email sub agent or call this research tool from a different workflow. I am stuck using it right here, right now with this workflow, right? And for some people, that doesn't matter, right? They only have a handful of automations that they use, like they have one personal assistant and it works just fine for them. And in fact, they're really gonna like the, like the ability to just see everything in one place and have, again, the visual clarity to see how it's working. And I keep mentioning visual clarity and some of you may say, well, who cares if it's clear? Like, I know how it works. You may know how it works, but I can promise you people who are new to the space, if they have the ability to see how these things are working from top to bottom of everything connected, it actually helps a ton, right? So if you're new, this is actually a huge boon. But if you're someone who's a little more advanced and someone who really likes the ability to be modular with your workflows inside of NADN, understand you are losing something here, right? When we go to this setup, while it's more convenient and it's faster, I think there is an argument to be made that this kind of setup actually gives us more functionality and is arguably more powerful because I can kind of use it however I want and I maintain a ton of flexibility. But obviously there's the downsides of I have to go to separate workflows, I have to kind of keep this all organized in the back of my mind, it's harder to do executions, all that stuff. But again, for the average user, I think this update is huge. I think, again, the ability to just have everything in one place just Kind of gives people a warm and fuzzy feeling of knowing, okay, I have all my sub agents connected. I know how this looks and it makes it easier for them to kind of like understand what's happening under the hood. Because remember, NADN is a low code tool. Not everyone who's using this is like a professional developer, right? So having these quality of life changes, I think is an overall plus, but always we need to go through the pros and cons because I think you are going to be seeing a ton of videos soon about people saying, hey, this is you know, like I kind of did in the beginning with a clickbaity intro, but this is the new super agent, right? These are AI agent swarms. You can build whatever you want. Like truthfully, you could build all this a week ago. It just now looks prettier, right? And arguably we lose a little bit in the end due to having it tied to one workflow. So keep that in mind when you're working with these. I still think it's a really cool update. And obviously this update also included awesome things like the new Gemini tool, um, which I'll have videos coming out on that soon. So, you know, um, yeah, let me know what you think. I would love to hear some of the pros and cons of people who are less experienced, more experienced. And if you want to get your um, hands on some of these templates, like, you know, these two guys, these skeletons, um, just go ahead, check out the links um, down below in the description. You can get them from my school. So good luck and I'll see you guys around.